Hello everyone and welcome back to That Paradox Gaming. So as promised, I have jazzed up Haswell's Sundial program. So the Sundial from uh, Draconic Evolution um, has had a little program that made sure it was always day. But what I've done is chucked on an advanced monitor, given it some, you know, some little pictures here. So this is the advanced monitor right here. And basically you just select one of these options to make it a different kind of time of day or whatever. So let's go through what you can do. To start off with, this will make it sunrise. And that's quite the noise there. Um, it's a loud block, but kind of makes it a bit awesome. And there we can see, the sun is rising. Now, this one does what it does before, which is um, make it always day. So it'll kind of go sunrise. As soon as the sun starts to set, it'll activate the draconic uh, sundial, the draconic evolution sundial, and um, yeah, speed up time until it's day again. So your night only lasts about like 15 seconds or something. Kind of cool. This one will make it sunset. So let's you know, see the sun bang through the sky. Um, and listen to that epic, epic noise that this thing makes. <laughs> um, I think I have got like a sound muffler on it, so it's not quite as loud. I think it's actually even louder than that. Um, nice. And when we see the sun is starting to set. Now, there's three other options which I added. Down the bottom here, we've got uh, make it always night. So it's like always day, but always night. And then we've also got Full Moon and Blood Moon. Now, the reason I went with this kind of pictogram, sort of like picture instead of just normal buttons that you'd usually see in my programs is I wanted this to, to fit in with the feel of, you know, the, my base. For those of you who don't watch the Base Tours series, basically this base is supposed to be a sort of like ancient humans discover an even more ancient like alien wreck or something or alien outpost and kind of you know build temples to all the like artifacts and stuff yeah it's kind of the theme for this base so yeah i wanted to fit in with that so yeah i liked the idea of going with like pictures nice so i guess let's take a look at how it works so um the full moon and the blood moon, they're, pro they're really for if you've got like a white, if you use a white stone from random things or the um, blood stone from random things, you need it to be a full moon to charge your white stone. You need it to be a blood moon to uh, create a blood stone. So yeah, that seems like handy options to have. And um, yeah, here we can see the moon phase sensor from random things and the blood moon sensor from random things. These are really handy items. I highly recommend them. This one um, will stop you from dying, except it will lose its charge when you die. And this one increases your uh, health health regen rate, but mine's actually pretty empty at the moment. Um, nice. So let's get into how the program works. Basically, uh, let's just kill this. And so yeah, anyway, for those of you who want to use this program, I'll do that first. So let's uh, just edit startup. I'll show you anything you got to do. The main thing is really, you've just got to define what side of the computer the, um, the Draconic Energy Sundial is on. So that's the sundial. In this case, I go on the top. So just here on the red uh, variable, just put in top, bottom, left, right, front, back, yeah, whichever side it's on. Besides that, um, you don't need to go into the code, but you have got to make sure that the moon phase sensor is on the left and that the blood moon sensor is on the right of the computer. The monitor can be on any side at all because we're using this peripheral.find for the monitor. So it will just automatically detect that. Cool, cool. Um, all right, for those of you who enjoy computer craft, I'll just quickly go through the code. Um, here we can see I'm just doing, uh, this is actually something I hadn't done before. It's kind of neat. I'm not actually drawing up the picture on the monitor like I usually would. Um, I'm actually just using a file. So I created that image with the paint program, just, you know, that comes with computers. And... Um, then saved that file, uploaded that file to Pastebin, and now if the computer, so if you're running this program for the first time, what it's going to do is shell.run the Pastebin get um, program, and it's just going to download that um, that image off Pastebin. So that's kind of cool. Then we're just doing if uh, button press, the file called button press exists, 
button press is just keeping track of, like if we've set it to be always day, um, you know, if the computer restarts, uh, it wouldn't necessarily know that we had make it always day selected, so this is just how the computer remembers that by writing that file. Fairly simple. Um, so to draw the picture up on the monitor, I'm doing a term dot redirect and just using the paint utils load image and draw image to then draw the image. Then we're directing the terminal. So the terminal, sorry, is the computer interface you see here. Basically that just redirects what you'd see here onto the monitor. So it goes to the monitor, draws everything up and then goes back to the terminal. Um, here we just got a timer going, so it's triggering a timer event. Uh, here we're listening for any events. Really what we're listening for is timer and the monitor underscore touch. So we're just waiting to see if the monitor gets touched. But if not, um, we're just triggering this timer event. Um, and then if the monitor has been touched, obviously we want to get the parameters of that. Um, and we're assigning that to user click. So this one would be for the... Uh, top left, which was make it uh, morning. This one's for like, you know, top middle, which would make it, um, what's that one? Make it always day. That one's for top right, which is uh, make it evening. Uh, full moon, always night, blood moon. There you go. Uh, and then we're just right into that file that we talked about earlier, the button press file, just to make sure that, you know, if the server restarts, computer restarts, for whatever reason, we remember what option uh, we had selected. Nice, then, um, so now that that little uh, if statement's done, we're going to check for uh, which, you know, what button the user actually pressed. Now, if they did one, that's going to be make it morning um, or make it sunrise. So we're just doing os.time so computers can check what time of day it is by doing os.time. So that's in-game time, not IRL time. And we're just checking if it's between like 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. And if it is... Um, uh, ta -ta. redstone equals true okay oh sorry yeah yeah so if it's greater than six or if it's you know anytime past 6 a.m or if it's anytime less than 5 a.m we want to set um the sundial on otherwise we are actually between 5 and 6 a.m and you know we need to turn the sundial off so that red variable that we assigned at the top of the file to be what side of the computer the, the sundial is on um, this one's make it uh, always day, and it's pretty much a similar thing. We're just looking for time ranges. So if it's you know um, greater than 5 p.m. or less than 6 a.m., then it's nighttime, and we need to activate the the draconic energy sundial. Otherwise, it's daytime, and you can turn it off. Um, this option three was make it uh, sunset which is the, basically the exact same thing as making it sunrise, except we're just looking at different times. So between 7 and... Uh, oh, like 6 and 7 yeah, p.m. Cool. And then this one is for the full moon. Now, basically, what we're looking for is the analog, uh, the redstone analog input from the left of the moon phase sensor from random things. Uh, we just want to make sure that's at strength 15. Uh, we're also just checking that it's nighttime as well. That's this little bit here. It's another os.time. Um, and yeah, if that's true, sweet, we can turn it off. But otherwise, it needs to be on. So it's just going to keep going through the days and nights until you get a full moon. Uh, this one is make it always nighttime, same as make it always daytime, except we're just checking that it's, uh, you know, if it's daytime, we're going to activate it. And this one is check for the blood moon, which is the same as checking for a full moon. We're just waiting for a redstone signal from... Oh, whoops, I just placed that. <laughs> well, we're just waiting for a redstone signal from the blood moon sensor. Nice. Um, yeah, that's it. And I don't think that even has an analog si signal, actually. I think it's probably just a normal redstone signal, but I just copied that command because it also still works. So, yeah, guys, look, that's the program. Um, so, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you liked how it all looks. Uh, yeah, if you want to see more of my uh, contraptions or more of what's going on at the base here, like and subscribe. I do have a, a big project I'm working on at the moment. 
It's similar to something I've done in the past, but I'm really jazzing it up, going all out. And I think you're going to want to see it. So, yeah, stick around for that. Anyway, guys, look, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you think of this, any changes you would make or anything you'd like to see added. And, uh, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Cheers. Cheers.